What's going on streamers? In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can upload emotes over on Twitch and also over on YouTube. But before I get into that, I want to talk about today's sponsor. So today's sponsor is Own.Pro. This is a plugin for those of you guys who use OBS Studio as your streaming encoder. And with this plugin, it's going to give you access to hundreds of overlays that you can use for your stream. Very easy to install and swap out if you're wanting to try different ones. They also have stuff for your alerts. They have a chat bot and they have recently added royalty-free music and sounds, so that way you can have that on your stream but not have to worry about any of that DMCA claims. Now that is all powered by Epidemic Sounds, and if you're wanting to try this out, go ahead, test it out. There's some free options for you, and if you're wanting to take full advantage of this plugin, it is subscription-based, but if you want to try it out for a month or for a whole year, just use the promo code CREOVOX at checkout, that way you can save 50% off of the entire membership of your choice. But if you're wanting more information about this, I'm going to throw a video that I had covered about this plugin also in the video description below for you to check out. But let's go ahead and jump into today's video. All right, so the first area we're going to look at is Twitch. Twitch has a lot more to offer when it comes to the emotes currently. So with Twitch, you can have follower emotes that are going to be completely for free. So these are going to be five open slots that are going to allow your followers to have it to where they are able to use emotes just for following. And you have up to five. Now for your subscribers, you have different tiers, tier one, two, and three. There's gonna be standard emotes and animated emotes that you'll be able to upload, as you can see here. Now there is gonna be your emote prefix. This is gonna be a name that's gonna be before the emote. So for mine, it's Creovo and then they would put the name of the emote right after it. So if someone wanted to use focus, they would type in chat, Creovo focused, and then that would bring this up, or they can just look for it in the actual chat where all the other emotes are. For your unlock progress, it's gonna show you what your next mission is gonna be. So you have to get 35 subscriber points, and that's gonna give you one standard emote slot and one animated emote slot. And it will show you how many points you have working towards that goal for your bits to your emotes it's going to be the same thing you'll be able to upload your bits and then or your bit emotes and then for that you'll have the prefix for that and then you will also have a unlock progress for it so getting at least one viewer to cheer 10k bits will give you the 25k bits to your emote for it so that way you have those all right, so how do you go about in actually adding them in? So I have an empty slot here, so I'm gonna click on it. You're gonna be presented with something like this. Now the auto resize, it's somewhat useful. Essentially though, these are the sizes that you need and there's many sites out there that you can go and take any photo and resize them to the proper size if you don't have something like Photoshop to do it in that type of program. So what we're gonna wanna do is click on here and on my other screen, I am looking for some emotes. Give me one second. All right, so the first one I'm gonna to try to add in here, it's gonna give me an error. Now, I want you guys to see this. So the size that I tried to upload was 72 by 72. That is currently not one of the dimensions. And the auto resize should have worked and brought it down to like a 56 or a 56 or something like that, but it didn't work. All right, so I found an email that I'm gonna use and these all came from owned. So I'm gonna double click on it and there it goes. So I went ahead and resized everything. So it was originally 112 by 112 and then it pulled in the size that it needed for the others. So now we're gonna go down here to where you can enter in the emote name and we're just gonna call it hi. Now this message might come up where it shows that this emote has the name as of one of their already in the library uh, you will not be able to have more than one emote assigned with the same name as that one. So what we're going to do is we'll just call it hi hi just for the purpose of the video. And then down here you'll be able to see what it looks like in the light mode and also in the dark mode. And then once you're done go ahead and hit upload and it's right there. That is it. That is all you have to do. Now over here it's going to show you your collection of emotes that you have and this will show you the animated emotes it will also show you your standard emotes and these are some of the default emotes that you can change the colors if you want to 
Now, if you needed to do anything with any of them, you could just double click on it and it's going to highlight it in here. You can even double click them in here and it will show you what it still looks like. You can remove it from the slot. You can delete it from your library. You can also change the tier if any of them are not full. So you can kind of have some customization in here, make it a little bit easier to move stuff around and everything like that. But that is pretty much everything when it comes to just uploading stuff for your emotes over here on Twitch. But let's go ahead and take a look how to do it over for those of you on YouTube. So for YouTube, we're going to go to the YouTube studio. We're going to go to monetization and then memberships. Once you're on this screen here, go to badges and emoji, click on the pencil, and we're going to start off with the membership badges first. And for here, it's going to have it to where you can upload your own or you can use the generic ones to start. And they have badges for one month, two months, six, 12, and 24. So if you are uploading one, just probably click on the pencil there'll probably be something there and you just hit upload but if you have one that's already there and you want to change it or you want to remove it or anything like that maybe move stuff around maybe you want one somewhere else then just go ahead and choose the correct option here but I'm gonna hit replace and I'm just gonna go and choose a different one here and there simple easy to go and that is gonna be for the badges now for emoji Emoji is a little different. So you can toggle it between light and dark theme. You're going to want to give them a name for each one. And I'm just going to go and change one of these here. So I'm going to click on this one. I'm going to replace the image. And let me go back to them. And I am just going to go with this one. So it just says hi. And I'm just going to change this to high because it gives you a character limit. As you can see here, it has to be at least between three to 10. And then down here is going to be your family name. This is kind of like Twitch's prefix name. So people can just type in Creo. As you can see on this little example here, you type in Creo and then you type in the name of the emoji. And that way people will be able to bring up a list of all of the emojis or they could just search for it by clicking on the little smiley face in chat. But once you have that, just hit save and publish and you are all set. It might take some time if they have to review anything, but you should be good to go pretty instantly when it comes to stuff like this. All right, everyone, well, that pretty much wraps up today's video. If you found it helpful, be sure to go ahead and comment, like, share and subscribe. And if you have any questions, let's talk about it in the comment section below. If you want to learn more, check out these videos up here on the screen, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.